You know a game is good when it opens up with, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. I heard things about this game for so many, so many months and I wanted to hold off watching anything about it, spoiling anything for myself. And now we're here! That's popular demand. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Stanley. Welcome everybody to Doki Doki Literature Club. My first blind playthrough into this game. This game been out for some time, but uh, I've kind of been holding off on it because I've just been busy with the current upload schedule. But nevertheless, I got some time off. Let's go ahead and do this. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warning, please visit DDLC Moe Warning HTML. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Well, granted I'm 24 and I've experienced and seen and witnessed things that are more disturbing than... Probably more disturbing than what I'm gonna experience here. I consent. That is the most Moe freaking <laughs> intro I've ever experienced. Let's turn down the music a little bit. There we go. Sound effect is fine. Sound volume, but that's perfectly fine. Out of forward time, text to speech. We're gonna text speed. We're gonna move it up a little bit more here. Uh, can I just make this full screen? Oh, I can. Awesome. There we go. That's a lot. That's gonna be a lot better when it comes to framing this game much better. Nevertheless, yo, let's go ahead and now begin with a brand new playthrough. Oh, please enter your name. Thamcoon. Tham. I just call Tham. Just to make it easier. Alright, let's get into this. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally ob uh, oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. My girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. Since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself make it today, but it's just kind of worked out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I decide idle in front of the crosswalk, let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, <sighs> overslept again. By the way, I'm surprised that I got the. Apparently, I, when I read the first line, hey, I didn't even know if it was a guy voice or a girl voice, I just kinda went on a whim. I guess that's Sayuri's voice then for this series. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say like you were thinking about, thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Tham. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. She didn't wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets become increasingly spec with other students making their day like a mute. Oh, by the way, Tham, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? Told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Wow, that's actually so much like me. I wasn't really much of clubs as well, either myself, <laughs> throughout college or high school, really. Kinda just did IT stuff and computer stuff, that's about all I did. Huh. I don't regret them, that's whatever. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayuri likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfect, I contend just being by on Nintendo just being by getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Okay, that's not like me, no. <laughs> I studied a lot. Uh-huh. I was talking about uh, I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or any skills before college. Happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I died the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. Look at a club if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you will try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why did I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent, uh, relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least. 
at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. And if I'm having a struggle speaking, I'm sorry, I literally just woke up and started getting a recording. Recording in the morning of Thanksgiving, so because I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day. So I apologize if uh, my sleepy eyes are still keeping me from uh, proper recording here. The school day is as ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After packing all my things, I start blanking at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. By the way, the music in this game is incredible. I like it, it's really catchy. Somehow, I feel like because of the disturbing messages that we got, it's gonna get really morbid and really disturbing. So we'll just enjoy the best of it as we got clubs. Sadie wants me to check out some clubs, because I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayuri. Sayuri must have come up in the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought catch was uh, coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You need to wait up for me if I'm good. <laughs> if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Mini? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the voices. I'm trying my very best here. I'm trying to project the cringiness that is right now. I'm trying to uh, let the cringe control me for a little bit. And not let embarrassment or any kind of filtering stop me from making weird voices. So I hope you appreciate it. Uh, now I mentioned I'm gonna be a little subconscious, but nope. No barriers. No, nothing. Continue with the cringe. Sayuri is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm not 100% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hehe. <laughs> don't, make, don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. Let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by the cupcake. For cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Well, I guess we're going to Literature Club. Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> sold my soul for a cupcake, oh my god. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for 30 year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open to the classroom door. Everyone, new members here. Told you, uh, don't call me new member. Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayuri has always been nice to, uh, always said nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Uh, Tham. Tham, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Do we know her? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> I mean, can I... Okay, I can't hide the HUD. I mean, they are cute. They are definitely pretty cute. I like the girl on the left. And the girl on the, uh, on the, girl on the left, the girl on the right, they're both pretty cute. Uh, the girl in the middle, I kind of prefer the plot. I'm sorry. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hm. Girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her while she gets. You can just ignore her while she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. I'm gonna have to differentiate the voices a little bit here. Anyway, this Natsuki, always full of energy. This is Yuri, the, uh, the smartest in the club. Don't don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears compatible, a more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Marika, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Tham. Marika smiles sweetly. 
we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. This girl's really cute, not gonna lie, she is real, really cute. I like her. Mariko is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Tam. <laughs> it's so weird to say my own name. Made proof. <laughs> well, yes, whatever. Whatever, you know what I mean. Made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me and Monica. I get the cupcakes. Yeah, I made them. I get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica, and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapper tray, and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Fuck, I'm gonna get my voices mixed up already. Already? Jesus, it's already it's just started the recording. Ten minutes in, I'm already messing up. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen wide, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, a little piece of chocolate we used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were going to be so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, the Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri to uh, talks with a mouthful, has already managed to get icing on her face. Turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaky glance in my direction. She waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The ice cream is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is real good. Thank you, Natsuki. What are you thinking of me? It's not like I... Oh god. <laughs> Haven't I heard this someone before? <laughs> <laughs> I love it! So self-aware! Oh, I love it already! This is great! Made it for you anything? Huh? Uh, I thought you technically did. So Yuri said... Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, dummy. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I hope you enjoyed this cringe of me being a tsundere fam. <laughs> alright, alright. Give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Keep a whole tea set. Yeah, oh, wrong voices. Whoops, my bad. Sorry, I should be reading the names there. Keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a pastime for me, but at least it not be not mine. Tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. What is going on with me? I'm sorry, it's early morning. I apologize. Don't worry, don't worry. Once the brain gets going, we'll be good. We'll be good to go. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider lit literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Could probably be a board member of any other major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politic politics around the major clubs. It's like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling the dream. Monica's really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't even more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. 
but it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. If I could also only say enthusiastically, maybe I could be as enthused about this. <laughs> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So fam, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I'm... Does reading textbooks count? Because I read a lot of them. <laughs> Manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces a rim over teacup with a finger. My favorites are usual no uh, usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up when she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh, the thing, the, the way that she says deep psychological elements, and then the warning that we had in the beginning makes me think, hey, is this a uh, foreshadowing of what we're gonna be experiencing? A psychological element. Sorry, I'm popping my bones here. It's morning. My my fingers get antsy. I apologize. Isn't it amazing how Radic can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I think that she, what she's saying is this is what's gonna happen to us. That's what's gonna happen to us. We're gonna be thrown for a loop. I heard things about this game, okay? I heard a lot of things about this game. I avoided all spoilers just in case. That's just in, just in case I would actually get to play through this. But I'm betting ya, I'm betting ya. We're gonna be the ones gonna be thrown for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. Desperately grasped something I could relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, you might end up <laughs> well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yudi. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes him think, uh, takes me to another world, that really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. A lot of horror themes, okay. I hate horror. What's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over from me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Look like you were working a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Give that back! Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes, the poems, everything about you is just as cute as you are. Yuri uh, sidles up behind Natsuki, pulls her, uh, pulls her hands on her shoulder, puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you wrote down your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. <laughs> I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reach the pinnacle of pitch right now with her voice. So I hope you appreciate the efforts. Natsuki's uh, Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident ratty yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just a, just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your re uh, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and show even the deepest reaches of your heart. Don't you have, have writing experience through Yuri? Maybe, it's, maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I'm guessing that's a no by their face. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I want to read everyone's poems. We'll sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem on our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Um. 
Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Tham? Marcus smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on, there's still uh, one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've bloodily come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls that stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> I can't take her seriously. When I do her voice, I, I, I imagine myself the, the sourest tsundere, and I try to project it as best as I can, and it makes me laugh on the inside. Oh, Natsuki. Oh, Natsuki. Fam. Y'all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I joined the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes let up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be surprised. That makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks. I guess. I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, I can officially end today's meeting on a good note. And remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next to the next meeting, so we can all share. Marika looks over at me once more. Fam, look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> when I did a little laugh, just eh. <laughs> to, to me, it's like, I imagine myself doing it, and part of me wants to look, look at the corner of my eye to see what kind of dumb face I do, and... Mm. You gotta, you gotta learn to absorb the cringe. When it comes to doing readings for visual novels, especially as cutesy as this, you gotta just absorb the cringe. You just let it happen. Just let it be. Do it with confidence. And just attempt. That's all it is. Just attempt. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up the food. Hey Tham, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always staying after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room, make our way home. The whole family... Uh, the, uh, the whole family... The whole family... What? Where did the whole family come from? What is going on with me? Brain! Okay, kickstart already. Brain. Jesus Christ, I know it's 6 in the morning, but go. Go, get going. Jesus Christ. No way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after, sc after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I guess it does. I guess it does! It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think a favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh! Oh! Okay. Alright, here's what we got here. We got words we gotta pick out here. So depending on the words that I pick out, one of them will like it. Will like the words. Melody? Sure. Agonizing? Romance? Desire? Email, waterfall, skirt, flower, anchor, bed, swimsuit, chocolate, judgment, heartbeat? Uh, whistle, analysis, unstable, sticky, boop, aura, treasure, treasure? I guess? Fester? Okay, th just because I have fest- oh, melancholy, I'll pick melancholy. Sounds like something. Um... Raindrops, Hopeless, Vivid, Shiny, Ribbon, Rose, Pure, Whisper, Marriage, Destiny. Marriage. I guess. I don't know if th these girls reacting like this is gonna affect us or not, but... Hey, whatever. We gotta pick 20 words in total. Broken, Fear, Graveyard, Rainbow, Disoriented, Prayer, Vertigo, Breathe, Play, Jump, uh, Graveyard? Oh, apparently she, she jumped. Apparently she liked that. Interesting. 
So we know Yuri likes uh, anything with Grim Graveyard stuff. Um, misery, let's see what happens. Oh, no, now uh, our friend Sayuri actually want to jump. Interesting. Imagination, death, death? Sayuri likes it, weirdly, okay. Um, hope. Okay. Uh, tears, calm, tragic, disarray, nibble, kiss, fluffy, alone, variance, embrace, disarray? Oh, Yuri now likes disarray. Okay, so it looks like regarding life and death, that seems to be Sayuri. Cutesy stuff, that's Monica. Not, that's Natsuki, that's not Monica, that's Natsuki. And then anything grim, gross, and horrific and psychological, that's definitely Yuri regarding words. Um, lust. Weirdly Yuri, okay. Pleasure. Yuri again. Determination. Yuri again. Um, memories? So Yuri. Kawaii is a word. <laughs> it's not the English word, goddammit. Um, heaven sent sounds cool. What do heaven send? Precious. What about precious? And. Doki Doki, oh my god. I don't like any of these words actually. Horror. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know if that's gonna influence us or not.